I said, don't ask. No questions. <laughs> hey. I said, don't ask no questions. Yo, I said, don't ask no questions. <laughs> don't ask. Hey, don't ask why TikTok booted me off. Don't ask why did it suspend my account. I said, don't ask why I was playing Benny Hinn. I said, don't ask. <laughs> don't just pass that connection plate around the corner. I said, Nick, pass that correction plate around the corner. <laughs> oh, man. Don't ask. No questions. Yo, yo, TikTok. TikTok is hate. TikTok such haters, bro. They hate to see a nigga happy. I'm convinced TikTok don't like to see niggas happy. I know that for sure. TikTok don't like that shit at all. Whatsoever. That's crazy. TikTok do not like to see black people happy at all. If y'all want to go viral on TikTok, don't smile on your videos. See if you don't go viral. Melanated people. Melanated people, don't smile on your videos at all. See if you don't go viral. But that's messed up, man. Man, I'm we having a good time, and TikTok literally shut me down all because I was showing, uh, I was exposing Christianity. <laughs> all because I'm exposing, all because I'm exposing these people, man. All because I don't, I'm exposing these people. Damn, man. <laughs> Don't ask no questions. Don't ask why TikTok kicked me off. Don't ask why they suspended my account. I said, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. No questions. Just give the money. Hey! Get the collection plate right on that side. Nigga, get it around on that side. <laughs> don't ask. As long as the collection plate's going around, don't ask why Benny Hinn is hitting niggas with his, with his coat. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask why Benny Hinn is hitting people with his coat and he makes million dollars a year. He, like, he makes millions upon million dollars a year. Okay? And the funny thing is, you know, religion is going to be the last to fall. That's for sure. Because now you have you have two of the three power structures that are completely broken, completely have fallen down. Now we're just waiting for the last infrastructure, which is the Vatican. So you have the White House closed down. The White House is closed down. And you also have um, Buckingham Palace that is closed down. So now the last thing that we're waiting on to be closed down is the Vatican. And that should already be that should already be happening. If not this year, then most definitely next year, because the fact of the matter is the Queen of England, who was in charge of the, the monetary of, of the monetary system, uh, um, the monarchy, um, is uh, is no longer here in the coronation. And well, I, I I didn't watch the coronation yet, but I'm sure there's some like symbology and whatnot. That's that's uh that's in there that I need to basically break down. But um, but yeah. So now we're just waiting for the Vatican to come to to break down, and this, you know this system is this 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 shit is literally falling, y'all. Um, I w- I was doing the research, and I came across a video that basically. Said that you know the whole Fed now thing. I'm gonna let y'all know this is it's, it's not gonna happen. They're 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 trying they're trying their hardest to basically create a system to fight a system that is not go that they're not going to win against. They're not going to win. Just to let you guys know. First of all, we're here. We're not gonna let this happen. We are here. 
You know, the, the, we are rising. That's not going to, this shit's over for them. It's already over. So they're basically putting information out there, putting fee out there to basically keep you in a low vibration in order to keep them part of this planet because they know the frequency of the planet is rising, y'all. I told y'all, the frequency of the planet is rising where they will not be to exist. They will not be able to exist on this planet anymore, be here on this planet because the frequency, the heat, again, I told y'all how love rises, the vibration of love, the energy rises. It is hot. It's much more warmer than it is year and they won't be able to survive and thrive in that atmosphere um it's a density it's a level of density that'll be too much for them um so uh that being said let me see okay so i just i just read all that the the, the information about the uvc to y'all i just showed y'all benny hen you feel me i just showed y'all benny hen praising people um, but check this out. Now I played this guy before. Chief Go Getter, he been in that sun all day, bro. Yo, get, get those suns, man. Get those suns. Um, so I was thinking, if the sun get those CMEs, like we, we, we're having a geomagnetic storm this strong. So the aurora borealis energy that's coming from the world, from the from the from the geomagnetic storm, y'all need to go out there and get that information. Get that sun, get them CMEs because those are literal upgrades for you. Okay, those are literal upgrades for you for this for this for this game for this matrix for this for this what a holographic system that we are part of. These are upgrades for you. Get out there and get those upgrades. Like I told you before, you need at least eight minutes in the sun in order to stimulate your melanin. In order for in order for the for the melanin for the sun to stimulate you and for it to bounce back information out of you, you need at least eight. You need at least eight minutes under the sun in order to bounce back information. Okay, the more the merrier. But eight minutes is literally what you need in order to stimulate the melanin um, in your in your um, uh, through your epidermis. So yeah, y'all get that. Y'all get those CMEs. Those are literal literal upgrades for your physical vessel. Well, now it's not going to be physical. It's going to be metaphysical. You're going to be separating from the physical again. You think we're physical beings. People people keep attaching themselves to the physical world. We are not physical beings. Okay, we were tricked. We were pulled down into frequency. We were tricked and pulled down into frequency to become physical beings. Okay. We are, we are, we are whatever you want to call them, extraterrestrial, um, plasma, neuromel, whatever, the gods, whatever it is that you want to call it. This is who, who and what we are. Um, but man, dang, man, they took away my, they took away my people, man. A lot of the, the some of the people that were on my other live are not out here now. That's crazy, man. TikTok, TikTok is such, so, such haters, man. So... TikTok is such, such a hater. Mm. Yeah, so um, I'm about to do classes, y'all. I just found out I can live stream on my Patreon. So I'm about to do more stuff on my Patreon, right? So... I'm going to let y'all know, um, more exclusive things are going to be on my Patreon, just to let you guys know. I just found out that I could live stream my Patreon, and that's amazing. I am so grateful. I'm so thankful for that, because that's exactly where I'm going to be more now, because I have people who pay for my Patreon monthly who just receive um, videos, very interesting videos that I post out there, but now I'm going to be going on my Patreon a lot more to basically converse and talk to the people who pay me for that. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm yeah, I'm telling you, man, get that Patreon is extensive. There's a lot of information out there, but I'm going to be going on there a lot more just to let you know. Um, but yeah. Uh that's just like point of inquiry. I'm just letting letting y'all know that. But let me show y'all this video right quick. So I played this guy before. This is uh, uh, Phil Schneider. Phil Schneider created the video Behold a Pale Horse, um, where he basically disclosed information about these uh, aliens that basically are here and they're running the world and they're basically here to uh, to basically use humanity as a a, a, a a luge farm to basically keep this matrix going, this illusion that they got going. Now, these these artificial beings were created 
um, by our minds. And basically they created an entrapment system in here to uh, uh, to basically create uh, to keep us recycling through the moon matrix and then to keep them in this in this physical reality. Just to get, that's 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 the that's the that's the crux right there. That is the crux. OK, but Phil Schneider, he is an ex uh, uh, Na Navy um, uh, colonel, I believe he was a colonel um, and he had he had some great experiences. He was an electrical engineer. And because of this, he had the uh, privilege to basically go into high levels in the military and encounter some extra, uh, some of these um, aliens, what they call fallen angels or demons and whatnot. And so now I'm about to show him talking about this information of uh, aliens and whatnot. But yeah, just pay attention. It's, 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 it's a cup. One's one minute and then the other one is like six minutes. Very, very uh, nice, informative video. But check this out right quick. Well, some of them uh, have a difficulty in understanding our language. It's too slow to them. Uh, uh, if you've heard whale songs or bird chirpings at high speed, it's about what these aliens sound like audibly to us. So they do, it's a bunch of gibberish. Yes, they've slowly actually broken down. There's 11 prototypes that are 11 civilizations of aliens visiting this planet uh, all the time all of which are known by the U.S. military. Uh, you heard that? Of which uh, are not very good in data. They're pretty bad news, uh, two of which are benevolent. Uh, but the so benevolent this is what's happening now, right? Um, so you have, he says there's 11 different extraterrestrial factions that are here on Earth right now. And this was, this was, uh, I believe this was in the early uh, uh, 1900s. I mean, 1900s. In the 1990s, and Kay Phil Schneider, because now they basically on the live and for putting this type of information out. But um, this, there has been uh, a lot of extraterrestrial races that have been taken out. Now we're just dealing with the main ones, and I believe there's four here left. So uh, now you have a faction of extraterrestrial of alien beings who are fighting amongst themselves because they know the end of the world is coming and they're just basically fighting to see who's going to be the next one who's going to be in charge of this this whole structure again. So this is why all this stuff is going on between Ukraine, Russia. Everything is happening from a higher level. Everything is happening from a higher level as above so below. So it's like this, right? Um, you have put of this, right? God runs everything, what you call God, universal energy. But then you have other extensions of God, of, the, of that universal energy that we are tied to. Say, for, okay, how can I put it like this? Um, I'm looking for my, oh, there we go. My board's right here, right? I'm trying to look for a marker. Huh? I'm looking for a marker. Y'all bear with me. My legs are sore, man. I've been working. Is this expo? All right, cool. All right. So I want you to know these beings are being played at the highest level. So everything is happening the way that it's meant to happen. And let me show you by this, right? So say, for instance, you have, let's say this, let's say, for instance, you have this huge cloud as what you call the universe, okay? The universe, and then you have, and you have something else, a big part of other part of the universe that's going to come down and play. That's an extension of the infinite creator. Okay, so let's call this the let's call this the the what's it called the the other the, the the main sun. So this is the black hole and this is the sun. So now you have uh, you have the black hole and then the sun of the black hole. So what people would call Isis, Haru, Aset, Haru, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you have other you have extensions of this sun that's coming through. This is the same thing that's happening to us. Okay, this is us, right? But at the same time, you have other people that's also in this matrix that don't belong here that are also being played 
by people through the sun as well. So what I'm trying to say is the disaster that's happening on the planet, it's all been planned already. So these beings are basically playing evil versions of this game in order to basically play this game out. They're playing their part because like they told you before, like they said before, Earth is nothing but a school or a giant play or whatever or a giant stage and whatnot. So you have these beings playing the same people. So the so-called white people who are destroying the world or who put us in slavery and whatnot, they are being propagated by, you know, other beings who are playing them as well. Like all these evil entity um, entity beings, they are being played by those people. So it is higher. It is higher dimensional beings at a higher level who are putting these type of thoughts into their minds in order to basically self-destruct or be removed from this planet. So they thought they were safe, but no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Oh yeah, so let me. So yeah, oh, let, let, let's continue playing this. Let's continue. So like people like Rothschilds, Rockefellers, these type of beings. Benevolent ones have supposedly left. Uh, they have their own little uh, war of uh, sorts, uh, especially to play addition. Hold on, I'm answering your question. Uh, uh, groups and whatnot like that, of which Val Thor was uh, repudiated to be a, a Venusian, but uh, uh, other people will learn he looks more like a, a play addition. He looks normal human, except he's got six fingers and toes. He's got a one lump, oversized lung. He's got two hearts. He's got all kinds of weird stuff. Bones are bigger. Yep. So he's talking about Valiant Thor, who this 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 guy who basically became a little popular. Um, I don't know if it was this year or whatnot, but he was basically a Venusian a, uh, from from the Pleiade from the Pleiades. Right. And this this is a this is who Valiant Thor is. Now, this he explains to you. He explains to you that this gentleman, this is Valiant Thor. OK, this 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 is Valiant Thor. He, he was working with him in the military industrial complex and he is basically uh, he's captured. He's working for the military industrial complex. He's captured goods from another planet. Because I told y'all before, they have other beings. They uh, they have other beings come from other planes, not planets. They come from other planes, and they 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 mix them. They mix them into these races and put up just like how they'll take people from here and put them on other planes in the slave trade. Because this is not the only planet that's 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 doing this whole slave trade thing. So Valiant Thor, this guy is basically he has been here for a very long time. And he goes to tell him that he is 490 years old. So he's been on this. He's he's 490 years old and he never ages because the reason why that is, is that that body he's wearing, it's a suit. It's literally a suit. You see, it's literally a suit. Just like they show you in Men in Black where you have the, the guy's face that opens up and there's an alien there's an alien, some entity that's working that that robot. This, this is the same thing that's happening here, y'all. We have that shit in this world as well. It's just it's just it's, it's just crazy how they how they show you that. But yeah, this is Valiant Thor. He's working with a military industrial complex and basic and and bringing in new technologies and working with other extraterrestrial uh, alien beings in order to keep us in here. But let me let me let me let me show y'all this right here. So again, oh, let me answer that question for you, my boy. Um, what's his, where he at? Um, where did he go? I've never watched Jupiter Sinning. I need to watch that, but I'm trying to, where did that quote, where did buddy go? Okay, there we go. Um, so if a restart happens, our energy survive and the flesh die, or is it a complete restart? Um, so, oh, this is longer now. That's what's up. Yeah, so energy and energy cannot be uh, created nor destroyed. I'm going to let you know. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is only transferred from one state to another. So meaning you can manipulate energy to do whatever you want. The only energy that really exists is sexual energy, organ energy, really. But it could be manipulated depending on the the number of molecules, right? The, the 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 number of molecules for the for that for the specific atom basically gives you what it is that you're going to produce. You get what I'm saying? So did I just did I just lose people?
Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I was froze, right? I was froze. We good now? We good? We good? All right, bet, bet. Um, so peace, peace, blue. I see you. I see you, blue. Okay, yeah. So, um, what I was saying is, energy cannot be destroyed uh, nor created. It can be transferred from one state to another. And because at the subatomic level we are nothing but atoms, right? Atoms running around, predicated upon the the number of atoms that you have to the to the molecule. It depends what molecule that you're gonna get. So basically, what I mean by that is um, the same things that the the same from the on the subatomic level, the same thing that makes up this mouse and me are only differentiated by the month by the number amount of molecules that it's in my my chemical makeup. That's literally what it is. The number of at the number of molecules that's in my chemical makeup makes me only different from this mouse. Okay, that's the only thing. So predicated upon the number of molecules that you have within that compound depends on what it is that you're going to create. So what I'm saying by that is your your energy that what you call is the the the, the original the consciousness that what you are, which is God is, which is using this physical vessel to basically express itself. It doesn't die. It does not die. It's very important that you know who you are before you you transmute this state, because um, if you do transmute this state and you don't realize who you are, then you can get tricked to come back into this world. You can be tricked by demonic entities that have that don't have your best interest in mind. It could be a lot. It could be a myriad of things that you experience um, into this world, like to the point that you can be trapped in what you call purgatory, where you think that you belong here, where you're running the same cycles all over and over and over and over and over again until you realize you're stuck in purgatory. That's what purgatory is. Purgatory is where a lot of ghosts, a lot of um, low vibrational people go to the people who play like the victim um, mentality or the me oh my, the victim mode. And these people or, or people in depression, people who are having like a bad time of life and just being hard on themselves and they experience some kind of uh, uh, some kind of atrocious death to the point that they they don't even know that they have separated from the physical vessel. So that's what it is. So, um, so yeah, um, so what it is, is so again, now, because this world is this just when you when you when you die, you're supposed to basically uh, reset, you know, reset and then go through your life sentence and and come back and do this again. But what it does is what this happens is that the moon, the gravitational energy of the moon, this cold energy of the moon pulls you in instead of you going to the sun, it pulls you in because, like I said, <clears throat> depending on the way you die, <clears throat> your conscious may be fragmented. Your conscious may be fragmented, so you have not gathered your molecules because, at the, again, at the subatomic level, you're nothing but molecules. So your molecules have not gathered and composed itself all as of yet. So they grab a piece of your consciousness before it becomes together, and they basically mind wipe you, right? Oh, they pre pretend to be Jesus, whatever it is that you want to be, and they mind wipe you, and they send you back down to earth because you are the living soul that powers this. Remember, the sun is what powers this world. So in order to power this game, you need... You need a smaller version of the sun, don't you? You need smaller versions of the sun, and that's what we are. We're literally smaller versions of the sun. We are literally walking. We are literal walking suns and planets in the flesh that's basically propagating this artificial matrix that we are a part of or that they have um, put a, put us in as well. So that's what's happening right now, and we are literal, We are on the way of separation. But let's play this video by, um, by Phil Schneider. Um, you know what I'm saying? But let's get it, y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all hit that like button. I'm, I'm going to play this video for y'all. Hit that like button for me, please. Appreciate love that. But this is, Phil, Phil, this is Phil Schneider speaking on the fact that how he lost his um his fingers. He lost his fingers by uh, an attack by extra to by uh, aliens. And he's going to explain it to you. We'll check this out. I'm tired of holding the phone, man. So I'm gonna put this job in there. Just tap the screen. It's the screen. When you hit that tap, when you tap the screen, that's the light button. I was lower down the basket of one of these holes, and about from me to this elderly woman here in the front, 
was sitting a seven foot tall alien gray. The stench was worse than the worst garbage can you can imagine. Uh, the person was at, or the entity was absolutely horrible. I didn't waste any time to reach for my pistol. At that time, I was an engineer. I didn't have time to carry all the fold or all of one of these big submachine guns and all the sea spray and the yellow fruit and the, all the uh, outer perimeter and inner perimeter. So I hope you heard what he said. He said um, he came across a seven foot gray, a seven foot tall gray. Um, he's going to go more depth into the story. But like I told y'all, man, this is a reason why the government purchased almost $300 million of radiation pills, because they know what's coming. Now, I told y'all, a gray is basically a unit of measurement of electricity that basically can't, um, that cannot dilute or process um, uh, a certain amount of radiation that is coming from the sun. So because they cannot digest the sun, their body evolve into what's uh, some form of thing that can uh, take a little bit of the radiation and is basically transmute their body into what's called the gray. So that's what a gray is, basically. Security people carried, I carried old Walter PPK pistol with a nine shot clip. This was in late August of 1979. Now, you got a regular suit of clothes, you got a regular clothes on, plus you're in a almost like a spacesuit environment, and you're reaching for a gun. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do, and then to pop a clip in it and start shooting. And I killed two of them. Yes, they're mortal, and they do die. However, in the process, uh, one of them did this. I all I remember is that he just kind of waved his hand in front of his chest, and the next thing I know, this blue beam hit me and just literally opened me up like a fish. And every, uh, burnt, burnt my fingers right off of me, and it was some form of electrical force because the kind of like hit, being hit by a lightning bolt burned all my toenails off of me. Uh, completely crispy crittered my left foot, burnt the shoe right off of me. Um, all I remember is the smoking remains, and I'm laying almost, I'm still conscious, but in and out of, I didn't remember much. And there was a, a Green Beret that was right behind me that risked his life, in fact, he died. But he risked his life, he shoved me back in the bass and hit the button and took me up. I wouldn't be alive talking to you today wasn't for him. I'm forever indebted. He lost his life. 66 Secret Service agents, Green Berets, Black Berets, crack troops lost their lives because the government, our United States government, lied, did not tell us anything about the alien threat. There's a war underneath there, and I'm talking dead serious. You hear this? You hear this, right? The United States government is lying because there's a war that's going on again, y'all. So, again, so all these beings think this is their planet, right? This is my planet, this is my planet, blah, blah, blah. So they're having factions, they're having wars down there all over throughout the planet. All this all this stuff that's going on, even though there are... The, the, the most important thing of the war is basically keep us in the dark, right? And keep us oppressed. That's what that's the number one agenda part of the uh, part of, of this war is. So as long as they keep us um oppressed and basically in the dark, then they're basically doing what they're doing. They're still not gonna get along, but that's the that's the majority rules right there. Basically keep us in this loop without us knowing and then so they can keep playing this game and usurping our energy for as long as they can. All right, let's continue this. It's been going on since that time. Since late August of 1979, our military, the Russian military, basically the militaries of the world have been in constant conflict with the outer space alien. The, the small gray, the large gray, the reptilian, the whole thing. There are 11, there are 11 distinct races of aliens. Two are benevolent. One had to leave here in a hurry because their world is under attack, both on the surface of all underground there, the Pleiadesians. They're familiar, maybe some of you are familiar with that. Uh, would some of you raise your hands who've heard of Billy Meyer and uh, some of the, uh, well, very good, about half the group. Well, Billy Meyer is one of these lucky people that they figured, well, he's kind of a simple type, we'll show him everything. Well. These are the benevolent aliens, and they've been here helping us. 
In fact, I have a picture. I have a picture. Help me reach for it here. I have a picture of one of the aliens been working for the United States Pentagon for the last 58 years. His name is Val Val Valiant Thor. The guy just showed you. He's right here. The guy just showed you. There's my father in the background. This whole place, the ready room of the USS Eldridge, Al Bielico has probably explained or maybe even shown you this picture. There's a list of the some of the notable people in it. They're all the atomic bomb scientists of the day, all the uh, time variant uh, experimentalists of the day, all the top physicists of, of that particular day. This was, in, this was in August of 1943. Now this guy has not changed one iota in 58 years. You heard that? You heard that, right? In 58 years, this guy has not changed at all. In 58 years. Started work. He came here, crashed here or whatever. Whether he's under duress or not, he started work for our U.S. Navy and military operations in 1937. Either 37 or 38 is what I've been told. So it's for 58 years, this man's been employed, probably under duress. If you don't do as we say, we're just going to use you for alien bait or something, I don't know. But anyway, he basically hasn't changed. He lives for 490 years, what he says his lifespan is. You heard that? Now, he's well, supposedly a semi-benevolent, he's a human-looking type person. He has six fingers and six toes, and he's got one oversized heart, one lung, giant <laughs> lung. Uh, his blood vessels are bigger. He's got copper oxide for blood, similar to an octopus. Uh, his brain capacity 300 centimeters greater than ours. He has a thinking capacity, uh, IQ, if, if you were to measure it, be totally off the scale, be about a 1200 IQ. Um, he speaks 100 languages fluently, alien as well as others. Um, he's a remarkable person. I had a chance to meet him one time. Now, now I remember, right? Hold on, let's, let's finish this. Now, by the way, he doesn't shake hands. He was kind of in a spacesuit because all aliens, regardless of benevolent or otherwise, they're carrying germs and diseases and bacterium in and on them that are deadly to us. If, if I were making policy, I, I'd quarantine them all. Because, that. because how do we not know that some of our diseases like AIDS, Ebola, uh, hantavirus, and a few of these other weird designer diseases, as I call them, are not made from the cadavers of some of these aliens. It's a biological weapon to use against the people of the United States. Man, well, I'm tired. I'm a tired American speaking out. No soul. But, um, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, he basically, yeah, like, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. You get what I'm saying? So, of course, of course, in order to basically kill something off into future or the past, you need something from the future, right? And these things have to be from the future or from another alien source because this was geared for a specific group. These type of viruses and these variants and whatnot, they were geared for a specific group, aren't they? Y'all know what I'm talking about, the Tuskegee, the Tuskegee experiment, you know, all these type of experiments that was basically the, uh, the AIDS, HIV experiment that was basically only curated for melanated people. Um, and every time they basically said, yeah, melanated people, go ahead and do this first, do that first. Why? Because with the mothers of Slavic civilization, what was going on? You know what I'm saying? So, look, that was enlightening. You see what I'm saying? And look, and I got a whole bunch of these videos on my, on my uh, what's it called? On my uh, on my Patreon, man. Y'all go enjoy yourselves. You feel me? I'm going to be, I'm again, I'm going to be in there a lot more. I'm going to be doing more live streams on there. But check this out. Check this out. Check this out. What they showed y'all in MIB. Hold on. Dr. White. You're absolutely. So he told y'all that um, that being is intelligent, right? But it's a suit. What the hell is that? See, I told y'all, man. Listen, how can you tell? You can't even tell that 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 is a, that was a fake body. 
telling you how surreal it is, right? I tell y'all, man, these artificial, these beings, these are some of these beings that are here. They, they're putting these in movies, letting you know what's going on, and they're showing you how these there are artificial people that look real, that literally have these beings inside of them that are running them. You feel me? The movies are telling you the truth. Look at all these, look at all these freaking masks, y'all. Look at all these freaking masks that are running around now that you can barely tell if it's the real individual or not. Have you seen the Biden mask? Have you seen the Jim Carrey mask? Have you seen the freaking Donald Trump mask? Have you seen all these politicians, all these governmental officials? Have you seen all these masks who are based? They're, they're literally showing y'all what they have been doing. So like I've been telling y'all before, what's happening now is a form of disclosure. Literally telling y'all this whole this whole game has been... Rest for I love you. Um, this whole thing was literally a game and... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's disclosure. This is disclosure coming up right now. I'm letting y'all know what's going on. So, right? Let me, let's continue this video right quick. Must to prevent. Look at that. That's a, that's a gray. That is a form of gray. That's a form of reptilian right there. It's okay. What are you trying to say? To prevent. To prevent. Struggle. To prevent. War? War. The galaxy is on Orion. Which is where they come from. What's his word? Bed. Belt, Orion's belt. Yeah, which is the cat? Which is the cat right here? This is Orion. This is the cat is Orion. That's Orion. To prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. What the hell does that mean? Doctor, um. Okay. All right. So, um. And that goes deeper into that because Orion's belt, I'm talking about the uh, the reptilian planet, but uh, that's for another day. That is for another day. I'll I'll I'll, I'll be I'll be doing a lot of uh, breakdowns on my Patreon as well on movies and and TV shows. That's what I want to start getting into breaking down these TV shows and movies and whatnot on my Patreon. So I know people would like that, uh, but that right there. But yeah. See, now that's what, you know, Phil Schneider just told y'all. And look, check this out. Y'all know y'all y'all probably seen something like this, but um again, this is this is why why I'm showing you this is because I'm telling y'all this is this is a circus that's being ran, okay? This shit's literally a circus that's being ran. From anywhere to anywhere, uh, in real time. So what we've decided to do is we shrunk these giant hologram stage apparatus from big arena stage pieces into what you see right here. This is Portal. It's the size of a vending machine. Uh, it fits in the corner of a room and it beams in a 4K resolution image in real time. You can create, you can beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere in real time. And when you're looking into the camera, you're looking into your audience's eyes. So if you're an educator, or if you're a uh, politician, Maybe or if you're an true. inspirational speaker, or a religious leader, you could beam from the safety and security of your own campaign headquarters, or from your own judges chambers, or whatever. Think about that. Think about what, this is just something that, you know, that they just put out that. Think about what they really have. Think about what they really have. Again, I mean, again, the future, past, present, future, all of this is, this is another reason why they tell you past, present, and future all exist all at once because we have all these technologies. All these things already exist. The thing is, they've just been hiding it from us. They've been keeping it for themselves and hiding them uh, and keep using them against us. You know, reverse technology. This is reverse engineering. They have reverse engineered majority of these things. And instead of instead of working against uh, instead of working with us, it's working against us. Um Artificial intelligence is not bad, but it depends on who uses it. Whoever, if you have ill intentions, then of course you're going to create a program to basically trap people in in order to keep playing this game. Wherever you are, into anywhere that you need to be in real time. 
uh, my friends and I, we beamed Jimmy Kimmel to the Country Music Awards from Los Angeles. While he was doing his opening monologue, standing on a similar screen, we used green screen at the time, but we beamed him to Nashville, thousands of miles away, time zones away, and in real time he was interviewing uh, uh, artists who had literally just won Country Music Awards, and then we were beaming them back using the same kind of reverse transmission. So yeah, then, so y'all think y'all, so y'all think y'all getting so people who are paying like. Uh, hundreds of tickets for um uh for tickets hundreds of dollars for tickets to go see your favorite artist or celebrity or whatnot y'all think y'all getting the real ones man but y'all not man y'all just getting a whole bunch of dry empty shows full of demonic energy that you don't even know who who's really on stage that you're that you're pu putting all your energy into but i hope by now people have smartened up because this is the age of information age of technology age of enlightenment so i hope like in this and it's still fa and this and it still behooves me because when i do see these shows i still see a lot of people going to these shows and again this further proves that we are living in a fucking matrix literally performing live or doing an interview Look, look at this shit. Zachary, I, I heard Zachary says I heard the technology we have now is ten years behind NASA, and um, f I would say for and, and that's what they tell you. I'll tell you what, and that's what they tell you because NASA is part of the CIA, right? NASA, NASA is one of the biggest reasons why we are in the dark of this world. NASA is the biggest reason why people think the world is flat. NASA is one of the biggest reasons why people think the world is round. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, NASA is a huge proponent of this artificial matrix, that construct that people are under, this spell that people are under. So they work um, hand in hand with the CIA. So they know what's going on. I guarantee you their technology is is probably hundreds of years ahead of ours because they're dealing with they are dealing with um, um, alien technology. Right. Artificially intelligent beings that have artifact that has um, technology that is thousands of years ahead of theirs. Okay, in order in order to make in order to basically, you know, make some plan with these humans, you would have to make a kind of a higher, you know, um, uh, uh, contribution. You would have to be like, no, like give me give me technology that I can really do some shit. Like, and this is why again they have the they have us in this matrix. They have us in this matrix, making it making us think that this this world is real. Literally, like if you don't, if you don't, if you don't put the information in your mind, if you don't again wash your mind, then somebody's gonna literally gonna do it for you. It's very it's it's dangerous to let people run your mind, program your mind, because you don't know what the fuck they're programming for you, programming you for. They could literally pro program you to your own demise, and you have no idea about this. One day you just wake up, and you're like, mm, suddenly I want to end my life, and I have no idea why, meaning they're probably playing this type of frequency in your ear, and you have no idea. I have interesting videos to play for y'all. Like this is, it, I have some really, really interesting videos for y'all. Like pe of like them using technology on people when they don't know it, and it's playing like, uh, like subtle te uh, messages of like, and people will go do those acts, and they have no idea why those acts like taking over, taking over them. But again, these are these are um, these are cloned people. These are artificial people that they code on, and low vibrational people. These people cannot have. It's hard for they don't have a soul, so they can't really be tied to the to the to the organic intelligence of that of the universe in order to break out of the spell in order to basically you know um not not get mind controlled into this type of stuff you literally have to have a low vibration in order to get um food into that type of stuff and this is why this is why this energy now is coming in and removing the low vibrational beings from this planet regardless or not and just letting people know just let people know and if you're not able to ascend into the fifth dimension you're gonna have to come back and do this all over again. Okay, so just like school, again, life is a school. Life is a school. But check this out. Прошу вас принести присягу. Заступаючи. Watch his face. Президента Республики Беларусь урочисто клянуся. This is real time. 
поважать и оковывать правы и свободы человека и гражданина, заковывать и оборонять Конституцию Республики Беларусь, свято и добросумленно выполнять ускладенные на меня высокие обовязки. Россия. Ну, я Карина. I don't even know, boy, that shit crazy. The technology, because this is the type of technology that they were showing in, I think Cosmic Slop was in the 1980s, right? They were, this movie, Cosmic Slop, came out in the 1980s, and that's the type of technology that they were showing um, in that movie, Cosmic Slop. So again, y'all, yo, this shit is old. You feel me? They coming for this live now. You talking about my live? You talking about my live? Boy, they been coming for my live all night, boy. You know what? They've been coming from my live all night. Hey, I got something for them. I got something for them. One in the private pot. Watch what happens. Hey, there you go. Coming from my live. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all coming from TikTok coming from my live. There you go. There you go. TikTok coming from my live. Hey, fire. 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 Hey, hey. Hey, hey. That's TikTok. <laughs> That's TikTok coming from my live, boy. Spray with this. Spray with that spirit water. Where's my boy Benny here now? Hit him. Hit him with the hit him hit, hit them with the suit, Benny. Come here, girls. Benny, hit him with the suit. <laughs> Benny. All three of us. Where my where my nigga Benny at? Hit him with the suit, Benny. Where we at? Who you are? Who you are? <laughs> hit TikTok with the suit, Benny. Let him pass out. Hit TikTok with the suit, Benny. <laughs> Let him pass out. Look at black and white. Uh, May Sonic. Black and white. Hmm. Black and white, May Sonic. Look at it. Hit him with the suit, Benny. Benny, hit him with the suit. Where my nigga Benny at? I need more people to pass out. Show me, Benny. Come on. Look at it. Look at his roots. Oh, oh shh. Hold on. He's got to be. He got to focus. He got to focus. Look. Throwing up the dead, the Baphomet. Look. Look at it. Look. Six, six, six. six. Look, you see what I'm saying, man? Throwing up the Baphomet. Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, boy, this shit make you wanna donate. Where this shit at? This shit make you wanna donate. Ooh, Benny, touch him. <laughs> but, hey, I, I wanna see him hit him with a towel. That's what I wanna see him hit him with. Where my boy Benny? Right. Oh, there we go. He about to hit him with a towel. Hold on. This is my favorite. Take it. Hey! Take it. Hey! Take it. TikTok! Take it. TikTok! <laughs> That's why I be telling TikTok. That's why I be telling TikTok. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! That's why I be telling TikTok, huh? Y'all wanna y'all wanna shut me down, man? Take it! Take it! Don't play with me, you feel me? <laughs> Hey, y'all gotta have y'all gotta have fun. You feel me? This is all a game. This is all a game. This shit is literally a game. Okay? This shit is literally a game. Y'all gotta have fun. What'd you say? <laughs> said, Come on, Jesus. Take it! Take it! Hmm? Straight to jail, huh? But uh, what's it called? But look, all right, let me show y'all. Let us let me show y'all some videos. You know, we we done with the information, right? We done with the information now. Oh yeah, let me show y'all this right quick. Someone said that shit crazy. I could never get with that shit once I got past a certain age. Yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It goes to show you. Look, listen, 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 listen. We are nothing but kids in a world that was created by evil beings. And we never really like we never grow like we're we're literal kids. We're still kids. We have been forced to age. Remember, we don't die. Uh, we don't or transmute. Con we don't transmute consciousness, transmute energy for thousands of years in this physical age. We are literal kids. They have taken advantage of us. Think about how intelligent you are at this age now, this Earth age of what whatever age that you are now. Think about how intelligent you are. Think about how much information and consciousness and awareness you're supposed to accrue in this physical world. Think about that. 
You're supposed to you're supposed to live in this world for anywhere from three hundred to a thousand years, you know, depending on what type of information. And then look how much look how intelligent that you are now. Now think about that and um, what's gonna happen in a few years. And we're becoming more intelligent because the sun is basically enlightening us with more information, unlocking our DNA. Okay, but check this out. Exactly, exactly. Even trying today. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny or trying to find anything. It just keeps on coming. It just, it's a gift that keeps on giving, right? Watch this video from the coronation, from King Charles' coronation today. And explain to me what have these people seen? What did they see? Here's, look at the look at this. Everybody's going. Like everyone, look at the whole crowd. They see something. Go through the crowd and look at the faces. Look, look at this body. What did they see? What, what are they seeing? Like, did a 24 reptilian lizard walk in there? What are they looking at? What I'll is tell you what, this? look. There's something coming because Chris Kringle over here, there, there's, there's literally something coming because, oh my God, bro. This, my boy looks like a, a, a reverse stepdad. He looks like a reverse stepdad. That's what, I don't know. Is this Prince? Yeah, my boy is done. Uh, he done, dude. But check this out. See, there must be something in that room. There must be something in that room because look, look, look at what they see. But I just wanted to show you all that. Um, Please TikTok, please don't shut me down. I'm just, I'm just, I'm having, I'm having a good time, man. I'm, I'm having a good time, okay. I'm having a good time. But I be telling y'all, people are going crazy. There's plenty of people who, uh, there's plenty of people who send me videos specifically on the airplanes. You see that, right? You see that, right? So it's not just, so it's cosmic radiation that is coming through, that's coming through the atmosphere. Okay, with the ozone layers, uh, hole getting bigger, and there's another hole in the ozone layer, and there's another hole in the so that I think three holes in the ozone layer. So the planet is getting attacked from both sides of the planet, from the both sides of the planet. We're getting hit with the radiation of the black sun. This is why all these light pillars are coming up. I showed y'all this, uh, my last live, but if just in case if y'all didn't see this, let me show y'all this again. Right. This is a new from this is a new phenomenon happening right now. This is a a new phenomenon happening right now. OK, these are light pillars that are coming from the ground, from the inner, from the inner sun, from the inner sun. That's radiation coming from the inner ground. So in, in the daytime, we're getting hit with radiation from the sun in the nighttime, even at nighttime, because, again, everything that's running is being ran by the black sun. So um, it's radiation that's being come that's coming from the underground. You feel me? So uh, we are literally being hit with cosmic radiation from all angles right now. The, the the planet is being permeated with this stuff. It's being permeated with this stuff to the point that when this big cosmic boom energy goes, a solar flare, then the planet will be engulfed in this in this high level of radiation energy. Um, okay, let me see what I was gonna say. But yeah, check this out. Look, people are going crazy, no matter what. No matter what, people are going crazy. I understand that we're all are waiting, but we I understand. Well, that's not how I work. I make the rules as I go. Well, it's, well, I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. Well, I break them. Well, um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now, too. Excuse me. Oh that's, first of all, that's rude. Yes, we did. Yes. Yes. He's knocking yes. people over. Don't be rude to me because one thing I can do is be rude back to you. It's what I can okay. be. Okay. Oh. Let's just take it down. I am, but I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't push no damn body. You, you want to stand in the way like you're a bodyguard. I moved you out my way. <laughs> Yo, that's just hilarious, bro. But, um, yeah, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all done, man. Y'all, y'all done. This is it, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all yeah, done. Get ready to eat your pets. Get ready to eat some crickets. You know, get get ready to eat some uh some you know some insects. Get ready to eat some snakes. Get ready to 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 uh, to, to eat some larva. Whatever whatever it is that you you want to eat. Get get ready to eat them things. You know what? Because this is exactly what's coming. This is exactly what's coming. Let me see. 
Let me see if um hmm. All right, y'all. Let me see, let me see. Let me see what up. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all gonna be eating them crickets, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna be eating the crickets. Y'all gonna be if y'all not out there doing what y'all need to do in order to basically purge yourself of these of these uh these these heavy toxins, these heavy chemi- uh, these heavy metals and whatnot, it's going to be hard for you. And that's why a lot of a lot of people are experiencing pain right now because of that. So if you if you do have a lot of heavy toxins within your body, remember, um, you know, that is that is a compound that doesn't mix well with you. Um because the 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 black sun is literally pulling us out of uh, it's pulling the uh it's pulling our it's pulling us out of this physical vessel so it's creating a blueprint your etheric blueprint for you uh you are literally becoming one with your higher self okay so this is why it's good to remove metals within your body because the lighter you are the easier the transition is going to be and you're going to have to remove those in, those, those intrinsic metals within your body but let me let me see what else? Let me see if I got anything else to show y'all. So yeah, they're trying to get y'all to do all that. All the Emma Thompson telling you to eat your dogs. Get ready to eat your dog soon. Okay, let me see. All right, let, let me let me let me go down the line. What's a good way to detox metals from your body? Um, there's a myriad of ways. I'm going to tell you this. Don't listen. Listen, don't listen to me. Um, I'm going to tell you the best thing that you can do. Go do the research because the reason why is you will always have that knowledge and you can pass that on. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can give you that information, but then what is it going to help you? Because you can find, you can probably find another way that you can do it better. You get what I'm saying? In a way that works for you, because there's different methods that you can do in order to pull these methods from your body. Maybe the way that I do it don't work for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's body's not the same. So I'm going to just let you know. So, uh, yeah, just do the research, the information out there. Like that's what, that's what it is. Like the internet, the internet is a representation of the in the internet, the internet with, within you, the information that's literally already within you, you already know what to do. Um, but if you want to look in the, you know, the outer net to see where you can source the information from, then it's out there. It's in the internet. You know what I'm saying? So do yourself a favor and get that knowledge, get that wisdom up, but check this out. I'm going to show you how this right quick. Ash, the flesh. Man, yo, I hate. Uh. Man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. What caused this terrible infection? Would you believe leftover chicken lo mein? He went to the refrigerator and helped himself to some leftover Chinese food from the night before. Within minutes, he became seriously ill. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. Leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. A young man is covered so, in a... So, what's it called? So, you see what happened to his, to his body, man? Y'all need to be careful because you don't... I'm, I'm going to tell y'all this about these fat food places. Y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all eating. Y'all really don't even know what the fuck y'all eating. And for this to happen to your body after you've eaten... Uh, the fast food that after you refrigerate it, it goes to show you there was something else in there, man. This is literally a parasite in your body. This is nigga. This is this is literally parasite all over your body. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This is just ridiculous, man. How can you? do This is wow, wow. That's 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 insane. But yeah, I, let me let me see what else. What else I got to show you? Look, I told y'all people are going crazy. People are going crazy. 70-year-old man arrested at grocery store for demanding meat at gunpoint. Okay? No chill. Uh, it says Republic Police Department officers were called to a price cutter to respond to call to about a man, a uh, about a robbery in which a man held an employee at gunpoint so that he would be served meat. 
So this is what's be going on, y'all. This is literally again the animalistic traits is coming out. The animalistic this this dude is literally face red. Like his face is extremely red. Extremely, extremely red. And he looks like do you have you know that term Sampaku? It looks like there's no life in his eyes. I'ma let y'all know. It looks like there is no life in his eyes. There's no no hatred whatsoever. I'm just telling you the truth. It looks like there's no life, no life in his eyes. Um, it says Larry Jean Gay, 70, uh, all right, Jean Gay, right, um, said he went to Price Cutter to buy steak. He told the good man who was helping him that they needed to weigh the steaks. However, the meat department was closed. Gay said at that point he showed his gun just to say, I'm not stealing. I need you to, here to help me to get a couple of these steaks. I'm not going to hurt you. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Uh, um, Obviously, I do know what's going on because, again, th because at a higher level, this game is shutting down. So at the lower level, this is them shutting them. This is them shutting down. OK, so this is literally proof the representation of the matrix shutting down. These people going crazy. I got a whole bunch of videos of people going crazy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Let me see. Look at this guy. Mental illness is at an all-time high. This did to to a freaking exhaust, to a freaking exhaust, right? Mental illness is at an all-time high. I'm letting y'all know, mental illness is at an all-time high. Ma'am, please leave the restroom. I want my receipt back. I'll give you a receipt. I want my receipt. I want my receipt. Can you give me my receipt? Please leave the restroom. Please leave the restroom. This is for entertainment purposes. Give me my receipt. Get out of here. Give me my receipt. Get out of here. Man, when I tell you y'all, um, I told y'all, man, that sun is that sun is peeling back this layer. So they're they are feeling the heat a lot more. And this causes stress within the body. Because what's happening is the radiation, right? The radiation is hitting their their frontal lobe is hitting the gray matter of their head, right? And they don't have neuromelanin in order to receive that radiation for that neuromelanin to travel throughout the body and light up your organs and your and, and your your melanocytes to give you that energy from the sun. So this it's causing a swelling within their brain. This is why earlier they were talking about sun poison. Uh, I was showing y'all videos of sun poison. Did y'all get that? I, did y'all hear all that? I don't know if y'all heard all that because I think my, my life was being messed with. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so um, so it's causing um, it's causing the gray matter within their brain to swell up because they can't transmute that that radiation, that radiation that's come from the sun into chemical energy. They don't have enough melanocytes within their body in order to do that. So it's literally making them go crazy literally is making them go crazy and it's not just and our people as well if you cannot take that vibrational energy it's a shift in vibration of shift in frequency and these people who are not able to take that energy they'll be removed from this planet as well they'll be removed from this planet and nobody nobody's safe from this nobody's safe from this this is the time that this is this is what they kept you away from your whole life you yourself they kept you from yourself your whole life so this is now the time to get back to yourself and find out who you are at a higher level in order to get back to that higher self, that higher level that you know that you are. This is what it is right now, y'all. Okay, let's continue with these videos. Yeah. You will be held in contempt of this court if you become disruptive. I, I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to them. Okay. She'll be arrested for contempt of court. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. <laughs> you are being held in contempt of this court. If you become disruptive, you will be arrested for contempt of court. 
Yo, yeah. that shit is hilarious, boy. <laughs> No. You will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I, don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. them. She'll be arrested for contempt of the court. Make any you will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. <laughs> yo, she's about to take that judge's head off. Yo, I, yo, look, man. I'm telling y'all, man. This is, listen, we're, the, the, the matrix is falling. The matrix. We're literally watching the Matrix fall in real time, y'all. We're literally watching the Matrix fall in real time. Check this out. I don't know what the situation is, but there's no reason why you need to do all this. What the fuck? There's apparently a girl in that car, and she's trying to basically, you know, she's committing dangerous acts trying to chase this man. Obvious. You see, there's no reason why this needs to go on. This why you don't date women in Tuscaloosa. Apparently, he got caught cheating or something like that. That's yeah, why. Yeah, check this out. Look at this. What the fuck? Look at this. He, he's easy. I heard him say "crazy bitch," but um, yeah, man. Like you, you see what is going on, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you see what's going on. Like mental illness is at an all-time high. Mental illness is at an all-time high. Look at this platypus. Mental illness is at an all-time high. Look at look at look at Perry the platypus. You know Perry the platypus. Look at this shit. Mental illness is at an all-time high. I'm, I'm letting y'all know. Look. All right. Look. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. The UFO community is buzzing with news that Logan Paul apparently stole some of the best UFO footage out there, according to UFO filming. Watch this. Fox. This footage is strikingly similar to the way Fox described it, as the skin on the craft glowing like phosphorus on a beach, and that the skin was yellowy orange and seemed to be alive. He later tweeted, Look, y'all. Look, so this is, this is a plasma beam, okay? This is a plasma ship. What does this look like to y'all? I've been showing y'all this. Last year, I've shown y'all this. What does that look like to y'all? What does that look like to y'all? Last year, I showed y'all this. Not this particular one. This is another one. What does that look like to y'all? I don't know if, I mean, I, obviously some people been here since last year. I'm sure some people have been here with me since last year. But what does that look like to y'all? He <laughs> said Dragon Ball. Yeah, for sure Dragon Ball. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks like the sun. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, it looks like the sun. But what does it look like? In, like, what is that? What does this look like? What does this look like inside? What does this look like inside? Yes, it is a neutrino being, correct. Lava. <laughs> Cockles voice melon, this guy. Face. Yeah, it is a little face. Yeah, okay, okay, uh, Black Goddess, you, you practically got it. But it looks like a person sitting down, right? It looks like a person sitting down in embryo as well. Okay, yeah, you got that. This looks like a person sitting down. I told y'all, right? See, we we this is how we operate. We operate through our light body, the Merkaba body, okay? The Merkaba body. All these spaceships that people are seeing, these are artificial intelligence by um, by, uh, by the greys and the reptilians and the insectoids and pleiadians and whatnot. These are, those, this is pretty primitive technology. Yes, we, we travel through our, um, uh, the chariots of the gods, whatever they call it, you know, uh, the Merkaba light body. This is how, when you become an aether being, this is how you travel. Use the Merkaba, feminine and masculine energy, uh, your Merkaba light body in order to travel, okay? So these are higher dimensional beings coming around. And there's a, there's a video, I don't know if I posted it, but there's a video of another one going around after a, a very powerful lightning storm. But yeah, check this out. 
repeated this, saying that the photograph was yeah, similar, person. but the craft was further back. And I've show, I've showed y'all one like this last year with another. That one was it was like a it was uh it was white and it was emanating all colors of the rainbow, like the plasma color. And you can you can clearly see the being that's sitting inside of it. That 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 dude looked tall as hell. This new footage has begun to circulate on Twitter, which is almost exact to the way Fox described Clark's video. Let's take a look at the footage in full. So I don't know what it's doing there, down there. But, you know, the deserts... Deserts are prime location for these beings. These are high energy portal level uh, uh, places, right? Look, it's 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 rotating. It's rotating. Look at this shit. Look at that. Do you think this could be the could this be the same UFO video as the one Logan Paul allegedly stole from Chuck Clark a couple weeks okay. ago? UFO. All right, so let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. Um, yeah, look, I'm telling you, they're going crazy. So, I don't condone violence, but if you're if you are calling someone out of their name something that they're not, then you know what I'm saying. Then you get what you deserve. But I'm just showing y'all like people are going crazy. You feel me? Look at this mental illness at an all time high. Right here. <laughs> Mental illness at an all-time high, baby. Hey, man. <laughs> this nigga don't know if he want to be Elvis or uh, a 2012, uh, what's it called? Uh, Backstreet Boy Shuffle. He, I don't know what. He don't know if, he don't know if he wants to be Elvis or New Age Shuffle. That's He don't know what he wants to be. Um, but li listen, y'all. I'm going to let y'all know. This is a, how a lot of y'all about to be when that... I can't understand nothing this dude is saying. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. And this is how a lot of y'all about to be when the ancestors come. Because y'all can't y'all won't be able to explain shit. Okay? <laughs> this, when the ancestors be like, hey, why are you not ascending, huh? This is how you look. Hey, Juice didn't tell me shit. He didn't tell me about ascension. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is exactly what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you to stop, 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 stop. Hmm? I was there reminding y'all what was going on, but y'all were giving me back talk. This is the religious people. This is the religious people. Hmm? The, the religious people. Here we go. I said I get a kick like donkey. <laughs> I can't explain shit. <laughs> y'all won't be able to explain shit. So y'all better, y'all better keep this clip handy. Y'all better save this clip. Ask me to save it and send it to y'all so y'all could just play that when the ancestors come through. Um. Um, this is this is Beyonce. I find this one of her best uh, musics ever, right here. This, I like I like this right here. Hold on, y'all. Uh.
Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that shit was hilarious. That, 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 and this is hilarious right here. Hey, hey, boy look like Belvis. My boy Belvis. <laughs> My boy Belvis is getting it in, boy. I don't know if he's Beavis or Elvis, man. My boy, I'm going to just call that man Belvis. Be he's Beavis and Elvis at the same time. Look, TikTok, please don't ban me. Please don't ban me, TikTok. Listen, man. I'm just having a little fun, y'all. Call that nigga Belvis, okay? Uh... <laughs> So, y'all, as we come to the end of the live, you feel me? We come to the end of the live. Man, see, man, look, we were having a great time, and TikTok going to shut me down on my first time, my first half, and uh, where we go here. It's all good. It is what it is. You feel me? We here to have a good time. Uh, this is a beautiful game. Um, let's end this game with a motherfucking bang. You, we started with a bang with us here. We're going to end it with a bang with us here. You feel me? You can never get rid of what's, 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 what's truth. You can never get rid of the truth. The truth is always going to survive. The truth, the truth is going to always be here. We started with the truth. We created the truth. We are the truth. We are a part of the truth. We are that oneness, that, that wholeness that is the truth itself. And that's something that you can never get rid of. No matter how many artificial or other beings that you create, that you try to basically take over this planet by creating an artificial world, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. You feel me? See, the guys were always going to figure out that you had entrapped us into this into this physical dimension, into this world. So uh, you played yourself, just like DJ Khaled said. Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, you play you played yourself because you did really play yourself. I played myself by playing this character that I am here because this is who I am. Nobody can play myself better than I play myself, and this is what I'm here regurgitating this message from you to you from my higher self. So, um, this is the end of my presentation, y'all. Um, we had some good time. We had some, we had some great laughs today and I appreciate love y'all for coming through, showing love, uh, high vibration. This is what we all about because we are in the end times. We can't fuck with these low vibrations anymore because if we want to create, if we want to create a world where nothing but, um, prosperity, uh, prosperity, oneness, uh, and um, and just love wealth where we don't have to worry about a world where we're not where we're not oppressed anymore where we don't have to worry about just the minuscule things of living in a physical world where we are hindered in every in every, in every shape or form whatsoever then basically we have to create this through within us at first just to let y'all know and this is what this energy is here to do it's here to basically elevate your mind in the higher consciousness so you can see better remember remember y'all we see further than anybody else because we see we can see the past and the future we can see the past present and the future we see further than anybody else so if you want to if you want to build a, a better a, a better present then you think about the future just to let you know you want to build a better present and you think about the future and what's to come into the future and then you bring that you bring that into the vibration of today just to let you guys know this is what's going on right now so let's create a better future for ourselves for right now so when our children come into the being they can have the best world possible and i'm gonna let you know it's going to happen regardless but at least you get to play your part in this situation and create a better world for your grandchildren, for yourself and your grandchildren. And this is going to happen in our lifetime, just to let you know. It's going to happen in our lifetime. So that being said, y'all, thank y'all for coming through and co-creating a beautiful reality for us, co-creating a beautiful game that we basically get to turn into a beautiful reality for, for just us. So, um, yeah, here we go. You know, peace to all the gods and the goddesses, whatever. I'm not, Again, I don't like that word, gods and goddesses. Peace to all y'all, my reflections, my divine reflections, who are here to uplift ourselves, who are here to lift ourselves, because every single one of us have a job to do. We take care of ourselves, and this will take care of the whole. We take care of ourselves first, and this will take care of a whole. Because why? Every single one of us is contributing to the elevation of the consciousness of ourselves through the whole, through the whole planet. And this is going to cause us to grow in high elevation. Okay? So take care of yourself first, and then 
the whole will start to make sense because you're actually putting the piece of the puzzle that needs to be put into that puzzle, which is you. So that being said, y'all, thank y'all for tuning into my frequency. You only tune into my frequency because you resonate with the information that I have. Exactly. We all bringing something to the cookout. Well done, Shani. Um, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. And now we rise, y'all. This is this is the best time to be alive. I'm going to keep saying it. This is the best time to be alive. This is the greatest time to be alive. You get to create the reality that you want. All right? Peace to y'all, y'all. Love y'all. Peace in. And uh, let's get it. Yeah.